Hey, what's up, card fighters? Welcome to Market Watch. So, you guys missed the blue washer mat. Um, there are two left available on the website if you guys want to grab those. Uh, if not, I'm going to probably just give them away or something. So, if they don't go out, well, that's all I got. Uh, check them coolgames.com, uh, they'll be listed on there. Outside of that, that's what we got for this. But yeah, those new strides. Can't wait to test them in like three weeks. Let's dig on into this, shall we? So after the savage round of reveals yesterday and everybody losing their actual mind, of course it was a matter of time until Yuga had to get bought out. So we have SVRs actually being 20s. And VRs being $25. Now, I absolutely love this when we see this every single time. Nobody just, nobody goes and buys out the SVRs. They always go straight for the lower rarity. I don't get it. It doesn't make sense to me because, obviously, SVR is where it should be at for the market. But, you know, what do I know? So, yes, of course, Hugo went up in price. This shouldn't shock anybody, especially after the reveals of yesterday's relatively interesting stride now of course good old miyomaru has to go up of course y'all thought that they hit the deck in standard you're like oh my god we gotta sell it we gotta flash fire sell it and then they released that monstrosity yesterday basically promoting players to want to pick up the deck for premium now uh so yeah basically you can play the exact same thing that you were doing in standard uh but in premium now um i don't know how that's gonna work but okay but anyway miyomaru is coming in at 30 bucks at the moment. Now, something that uh, kind of got my attention was Orboro Keeper here. Now, you can't say that you weren't educated on this thing. So this thing actually, I want to rush down my opponent on grade 2 with this. So it's an uh, auto rearguard circle. Choose two Orboro Keepers from your rearguard circle. Put them on the top of the deck in any order. And at the end of your turn, pay this cost to reduce your deck for up to 1 grade 3. Reveal it to your opponent. And shuffle your deck. Now, very interesting thing here. You can actually, if you have two of these, you just drop them on the field, bum rush your opponent, and to turn they go back, you go search for Hyuga. It's not the most consistent thing in the world, but it is worth talking about. Um, price tags, however, though, there are a lot of one ups here. Uh, they go with a grain of salt, but it is an interesting idea nonetheless for the deck. All right, Chaos Breaker hype. Oh boy. Look, Crisis, 63 bucks for SP. Look, Deluge, still $29. That never surprises me. Uh, we got a hot, what, 21 up to $23 right now for Deluge, and then we jump up to 30 Okay. Um, old Chaos Breaker. Secret Rares are hot $20. It's not like we ever played that thing. SP closes are 17 up to 26 Up to 79 Yeah, by the way, I have the $26 ones if you want them. Hmm. Good times. Uh, I, like I said, I know that there's a lot of hype going on right now. Because, oh my god, their strike can wipe gift markers. This is insane, but like it delays a turn of what the deck actually does. Uh, the good thing is you can ride the Gradle Delete with the Given for the Restand on it. For some massive power, but at the end of the day you got to find yourself asking, is that play the best play that we could possibly have? And I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, regular clothes is looking pretty cheap. Outside of that, yeah, we, uh, we're in a very cheap chaos place right now. Alright, promos. This thing's still 100 bucks. I think Win Condition Games is the only ones had these forever, and I just, they never sell. Like, someday you'll think they'll lower them because they're not selling. There's the Miyamaros. Lucas 12s. Millipedes is still 20 bucks. I don't get it. Uh, Lenores are still 28s. Um, if our new stride has anything to do with how broken Pale Moon is. Um, we'll probably see Silverthorn buy out on the back end. See, this is what I mean, all right? Why are we spending $30 on... Okay, yeah, that's a triple R. Man, 20 and then 30 never mind. First raise was hot 10 bucks, by the way, for that full art. I never got that one either. Like, oh, look, $25 for the Retro Axe triple R. Hmm. Just for the shiny promos, by the way. Regular Retro Axes are 10 bucks. Sh uh, shredding white blades kind of creeping on up here. Granted, market price was five, but that's interesting. All right. Uh, Medical Gunner Hermes, a hot ten bucks. Okay. Sure. 
So, oh man, you guys remember we had so much hype for uh, G. Morris here, or Morris, and everybody was like, oh my god, this is so broken. Like, hello? <laughs> they were like 10 bucks, and now they've calmed down. Uh, these gaining a little bit of value here, 250s on these. Also glad to see that, uh, it looks like Quick Shields have receded a little bit in terms of general value, which is a good thing. Um, yeah, never mind, it's still 250. Yeah, it's not terrible. It's not good by any stretch of the imagination, but. It's good to see that there's a slight cooldown back here on the promo department. So yeah, generally, it's card by Vanguard promos. There's always going to be something back here that, well, cards get short print. They get harder to get. Uh, New Wiseman being one of those cards. We'll see if these uh, actually end up being worth more. All right, the Astral Force. Um, this set has really came down. So SVR Chrono Tigers are $34 now, by the way. That's pretty good. Chrono Fang Tiger SPs are 46s. The Valkyrian SSRs are 28s. Uranuses are 26s. Uh, $26 on the Constellations. Chrono Bite Tigers are 27s. Astraeus Dragon is 27 and Gleaming Lord Uranus is 27. I like how everything from this pack is 27, 27, 27, 27. Kind of interesting. Uh, Malik Mulk, that's $26. That feels nice. Uh, Adroid is a hot $19, by the way. Um, that's funny. 14 bucks on the Origin Deity. Regular Rebellions are a hot 18 bucks. And the Adroid Laminos are $12. For SPs, nonetheless. Like, what? Uh, Ikab, this thing's 14 bucks. I mean, it gives an extra drive check, but they're consistently holding here, which is interesting. This is the first, like, super value double R I've seen in a very long time. Uh, regular Moloch's coming in at 15 and then $7 on Uranus. That's so bad, actually. <laughs> Chrono Fang Tigers are hot $9, and t Chrono Tooths are 6s. Huh. Well, very interesting. Things I... Man, this set is actually, like, very consistent in lower value cards. That's a good thing. Oh, look, Vanquishers are hot 110s and Clarets are hot 80s. Still 59 on those brand ones, though. That's sad. Last card, Revons are 32s. Uh, let's see here. Morion Spears literally still holding at 29. I haven't seen those things budge in a while. Regular last card, Revons are 22s. Yikers. Hot 18 bucks still on the Mighty Bolts. Well, you know, I you thought the new grade things were going to go down. No, not at all. I don't see anything else too crazy on the back end here. I'm already shocked about the last card, Revens, but I get it. Still hot 300 bucks on the top bottle Reaver years. Uh, Color Prostrel Caros or 80s. Uh, SVRs are still 31s. I'm glad that those are the ones actually still holding value. The thing that's actually sad about this set... Ooh, hello assets, 24s. These things are 12 bucks now. Like, we had such a good value run with these, and then they just, they tanked. Like, it doesn't surprise me. Thank you, uh, good cards. Oh, look, Martinez and Tors, still like 39 apiece. Hello, Isabels, still $55. Hagerfane's still a $15 SVR. That's sad. Still 22s on the cable sheeps. Huh. Interesting. Well, you know. Yeah, I don't see nothing too crazy back here on this set. Oh boy, gift markers. Um, oh look, 63s on Kai's. Ooh, 84s on the Rekka's. This went down. Alright. Um... Ooh, the Shimonettas are 30s. Those look nice. Oh, look, 49s. I'm so sad that those went back up. I was really in wanting to pick up some Ibukis, and they just shot up out of nowhere. Like, good times. Good times indeed. Yep. I don't... These look really good, too, like, surprisingly. All right, next up. Oh, look, 20s. 20s. 14s. Ganty Pants is at 15s. You guys remember when this set was so much money, right? We were all freaking out about it. Good times. Then you get down to like the $5 marker section and you're just like, hmm. Yep. 
five dollar markers look helpful intendance still 68 bucks look god hand still 22 please let the new stride be god hand support like that'd be so cool i'd be so happy with that like god hand seems like it could have been such a cool deck in premium like we just need the little bit more uh valkyrian 12 dollars in the ssrs for this set you guys remember Agrodial, right? How much uh, that that flopped? Four bucks on the uh, Astrea of the full prayers. You know, it's uh, too spicy back here, sadly. So, uh, what do you guys think? Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. And well, guys, I'm that's not all, card fighters. Please subscribe for more card fight Vanguard content. Please remember to check out Mcole Forty for Yu-Gi-Oh videos, and please check out McoleGames.com my store along with no limit gaming nlgtcg.com for all of your guys' trading card game needs as well until next time guys remember to hit that subscribe button later